try and do it langsam und deutlich, uh, or hoch English, um, but uh, I must say it's lovely to be able to, to get up late in the morning to be with you here uh, today, and uh, I'd like to thank uh, Creative Mornings for inviting me, and looking at everything you, you're doing, I think everybody is going to be so successful in what they do uh, by coming to these sessions. It uh, is definitely a positive vibe, I think, that... Uh, that, that shines through, and um, it's obviously something really good for the future. Um, the subject today is work, um, and I, can, I must honestly say that virtually everything I do is not really work, um, because it's, uh, it's more fun and, and, and a hobby. Of course, there are some things that uh, I have to do, or I do, that uh, I, I think maybe um, why, did I, why did I say yes to this? Uh, I'm glad I said yes to this. My father always said no is shorter than yes, but of course in German that doesn't work, does it? Um, um, and uh, basically I thought uh, uh, of telling you roughly what we do on the morning show. Uh, Lisa was talking about a team and generally sometimes we say it's all down to teamwork. Um, I'm the team and they work. But that isn't the right way around, actually. Um, I work and they are the team. And uh, on the morning show, uh, if you'd like me to tell you uh, roughly how we uh, go about producing uh, the morning show, how we are creative about the program, um, it starts in the morning at 4.30 when the alarm goes off. Um, and what happens in the morning is that myself and my co-producer, uh, Psychic, host, call them what you like. Um, we text each other to make sure that both of us are up <laughs> um, so we don't have to panic and get somebody else in. So once that's done, that's okay, we can uh, have a cup of coffee and uh, we tend to get to the funky house about five o'clock in the morning and then we have uh, a program uh, which is already prepared. Uh, there are a lot of um, what we call free spots so we can be spontaneous, and uh, that's what Angelica was doing uh, earlier on. I mean, you'd be perfect for the morning show. Because <laughs> we, we like spontane, spontaneous, spontaneity, or yeah, uh, we like to be spontaneous. Um, and then uh, at five o'clock when we're in, we're on air at six, um, we have um, a program, which uh, is already prepared, I would say 75% prepared. Uh, then we present that, and then um, after the program at uh, 10 o'clock we have a little break, and then we get together uh, with a whole team. Uh, so there's myself, there's the co-host, producer, sidekick, just the two of us. A lot of people actually think we have a, a lot of people in the studio with us in the morning. That only happens at a dry, where they have six or seven people in in the morning, and yet there's just the two of us, and a news person as well. Then we sit down and decide what's going to be in the program the next day. So we have a daytime producer, we have a chef von Dienst, we have a, a senior producer, somebody from the internet, somebody from the music department, and uh, we have uh, somebody, well, it's about seven or eight, oh, somebody from the uh, Redaktion, and somebody from PGS, which is called Program Gestaltung. And I've never worked out what that meant, but basically they come up with the comedy elements that you might hear in the promos or the trailers. Um, so then the daytime producer gets to work on what we've discussed and talked about what we want the next day, if I want some free spots, if I've got something to say, what games we want to play. And uh, then we have a, a thing which is called a red element. And you won't know about the red element because you don't know when it's going to happen, but we know when it's going to happen. And there's a red element every half hour, which is called a redactions element, and that can be a film review, it can be 
something uh, like the Foo Fighters review, or it could be a game, or it could be something that we're going to be talking about. And some of these are scripted, which we don't normally script, uh, stick to the scripts. And Gail can say, with the handover of John McGill and myself on a Sunday morning, we just don't know what's going to happen until the microphone opens. Uh, so these are guidelines that we're given. And uh, sometimes if we don't make the point, we're told about that, the meeting after the program as well. But not like Erdry. Erdry um, have uh, um, a, 30, a 90 second spot for free talk or for talk. We're allowed um, to go a little bit longer. So in the evening, after the daytime producer has uh, uh, got all the elements together and sent out the emails to people to send reviews or whatever to us the next morning, we get this, which is basically, we've seen this at six o'clock in the evening and uh, we generally go through uh, what we, uh, we have uh, on the program throughout the day. So uh, the top day, this, is, this has been produced by, I can't remember, it doesn't say who produced it, but uh, the, there's notes there to people, please send your stuff to the morning show. <laughs> Let me have a quick look around here. So yeah, so uh, there's a wonderful upbeat poem of the month, maybe a Facebook post. So we decide, we'll decide in the morning what we're going to do uh, with that. And so the around F and 4 are things that we will um, talk about uh, as and when we want. Uh, we'll start off with the Nike lunch that will be done by the producer. Then something else comes in. That's, uh, BS is a back seller, so uh, that was a program that's already done. Then we'll have the ombudsman. Then there's a free mod, so she gave us an example there. We didn't take that. Um, uh, the datum abo has to be done, so at the beginning, um, you'll see on, uh, on my screen, it will say, we have to put product placement, as you, you see, product placement. Then there's something from uh, the Viennale. Uh, that, the 740-745 is a game, so that's already produced. Um, the Viennale comes in there. Uh, Lockstock, I can't remember what that was. Uh, for Alberga Klima Targa, that's already done by um, Barbara Koeppel. Then there's a review at a Hoi Pop Festival in Linz. Um, it says Comp von Susie. Sometimes, not because of Susie, sometimes they don't arrive by five o'clock in the morning because somebody might be ill or their equipment might, might not be working. Um, so then we have to uh, be spontaneous there. And then we have another feature which is uh, for uh, uh, Johanna Gefeld das Nicht. So that's normally always there. So sometimes in the morning we're we're a bit surprised if there's nothing there, but it doesn't really matter because I've got things that I want to talk about, things that might have happened the day before. Um, if I was working tomorrow and we didn't have anything at 7.20, I might mention what I did today and say all the wonderful people that uh, I met here at Creative Mornings and uh, here's their website and here's how you go along if you want to be um, along for the monthly meeting and um, so I might do something like that. I mean, I don't know. I sometimes don't know what I'm going to say. Pretty much like I am at the moment now. I've got nothing <laughs> scripted here. So, um, what is next? Uh, yeah, so these are the, yeah, so these are what we get. If it's been produced by somebody, they'll, they'll put um, some ideas of what we can do. The main point uh, is that I have to play the track the, uh, the O-Tone uh, for Naked Lunch, for the singles, and also play the track by Naked Lunch. But the rest is normally uh, not, not read as written. So we'll go through those in the evening, and I'll make notes of what I'm going to say, or what I'm not going to say, or I think I, I don't want to say that. Um, uh, yeah, when they visited the morning show, um, they came to see me, actually. So I know what they're talking about there. So that's roughly what comes through. And then another one is, uh, this is the Ombudsman. We all, uh, um, Jose Rachila, who is the Ombudsman, um, puts in some um, intros. Um, some are good, 
some are <clears throat> questionable, uh, and it doesn't work <clears throat> if you stick to the scripts. What works at the meeting the day before sometimes doesn't work the next day. You think it's very funny at the meeting, and then in reality the next day at 6.15 in the morning, you think, I'm not sure if that's going to work. So we are at liberty to change things a little bit. Um, the one there for Datum is, will pretty much be the same because um, it's product placement and we are giving away an ABO uh, for Datum for a year. So we've really got to stick, not closely to that, but uh, uh, we can't go off the wall for that one there. And then there's just a couple of other bits and pieces that are sent in as ideas. And um, it's better to, I think, talk about it rather than read a script. Because you know, if you read a script, people know you're reading it. Uh, sometimes I listen back and I think, sounds like I was reading that then, but I probably was too. And that's just, uh, yeah, into Johanna Gefeld, Nick. Gefeld, that's Nick. Okay, this is what I look at in the morning. I took a few photographs, but I'm not like a, a, a top photographer. So I missed the main thing that I see. I have five screens in front of me. On the right there is the telephone lines, which we, we, are at, we can answer on the other side by the uh, producer. This is the most important part of any radio studio. If you go in any radio studios, you will see toilet rolls. And the reason is because we have so many liquids in the studio. Ah, oh, shit. So we've got, we go straight in and clean it up. I had a producer once, many years ago, who I didn't particularly like, but we got on quite well uh, on air. But I, I wasn't a big fan of her. And uh, one day, she uh, spilled some water down the, uh, the mixing desk. Uh, by mistake, and so of course we mopped it up. And she said, oh, oh, are we still on air? I said, yeah, yeah, we're okay, no problem. And then it started crackling uh, a little bit, and rather, I was a bit mean, and I, I, I said, can you smell burning? <laughs> <laughs> and she, really? I said, no, I said, it's okay. And uh, this is a long time ago. It's none of my producers that we work with at the moment, too. So it really is important to have that there. It's a great piece of equipment to have. On the right there is, um, if I, I'm, I'm sitting here, that's to the right. That is what we call our jingle box. And each of us have uh, different um, containers with our personal jingles in, favorite uh, talkover tracks, and uh, various droppings. If you don't understand what any of these words mean, feel free to ask me now or later, I don't really mind. Um, and what's the next one now? This is, this is looking to my left, uh, that's the newsreader in the news booth. And um, yeah, I think it must have been the six o'clock news, I think. Or, so I see her in there, and she reads the news, and then she gives me a signal when she wants the weather jingle played and the sports jingle played. And then I take it from there and we start the program. Um, yeah, on the left are all my emails. Let me just check that they're all right there. <laughs> I think you got anything there, yeah. And on the left is, that's, in, in the middle there is, is, is all the faders that I've got for uh, on air for the microphones and the news. On the other side is um, the same sort of pattern, but it's for um, uh, the two, uh, record um, records, music blogs and also the jingles and the telephone so I work everything from a from a desk there I think that's that's the other side of it there too yeah and that's and the other side there behind behind there uh, is where the co-producer <coughs> is as well so those are all stuff I have there I normally look at what's in the British papers too as we're going through the program See, if there. See, look, she's got one there too. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't planned. So yeah, so that's uh, it says end of show, hooray! No, 
Oh, there. So, no, that, that, that's basically how the, the morning show works. Shall I come back to you? Yeah. So, what else did they say to you? Whoops. Where's the toilet roll? <laughs> It'll be all right. I hope. Um, yeah, so, so how do we work the uh, actual program? Um, that is the creative side of what we do, and it comes in from all different uh, contributors. Um, and how do we put it together? I can show you, we, every radio station uh, in the world has a clock. We all have clocks. You won't know it because you might listen from 10 minutes to 8, 10 past 8, or nobody very rarely listens from 6 in the morning till 10 in the morning, uh, unless they're applying for a job on the morning show. That's what I did when I applied for a job many, many years ago. I listened to the whole hour that the guy did before I went in to talk about the job. And um, if I could just show you, are we all right for time? Yeah. So the clock. Don't forget the microphone. Don't forget the what? Microphone. I will take that down. It's a good idea. <laughs> so, is it working? <laughs> Probably not working yet. <laughs> Do I have to switch it? To, well, if, if you can sort it out, then I can. I can talk anyway. Print it out. So the clock at each hour looks like this. Of course. It's always split, and our hours are all pretty much the same. Um, so looking at the first hour, uh, there's news. And the same at the half hour. The news, in case you don't know FM theory, it's news in English on the hour, uh, the half hour is German, and then at 9.30 there's French. Um, but don't ask me about that. <laughs> I might give you an honest answer. Uh, so there's the news there. So after the news, generally, we need a good opener, good opener music-wise. So it's always got to be something upbeat, and this is something we've discussed with the music producers. I have a producer that works very well with me, and um, <coughs> other people have disagreements sometimes with him, but I find him very, very good. He knows what I like, he knows what I want. So I trust him implicitly. So out of the amount of music I get per hour, I have about 13 songs, of which I can, or shouldn't, move around. Uh, I think he sticks with me because he knows that I won't uh, let him down. So normally we come out of the news with a, a song, and that normally is back to back, uh, with either a jingle or a good mix because after the news you've had three minutes or even five minutes of speech, so you really want to get people going. So I like a nice upbeat song to come out of the news and then go into another one there. And then around about 10 past seven, we might do something like uh, the Ombudsman. Um, so the Ombudsman. <laughs> okay, so, so you come out of that, and then we'll play another song, and then maybe another song. And maybe we'll do something in between there, or it could be a request. And these are the little times, so these are very hard to come in there. Then we have a, what's called a trailer. You will hear a trailer, so you might hear uh, the images. Or something that we're promoting within FM4. Birthday party, uh, FM4 Frequency Festival, or um, it can be anything. Normally, there's normally two an hour of those. Um, and after that, we'll have two more songs. And then we have what's called a teaser. Because there is the commercial break. So there are the ads. We only, we're very lucky, we only have about two and a half minutes per hour uh, for uh, uh, commercials, whereas the dry have the maximum of 12 minutes per hour, which is uh, decided by uh, the um, EU broadcasting rule. Although you might think that there are more than 12 minutes per hour on the dry, there aren't. 
the way you think there are more is because years ago, people used to pay for 30 second ads. So in each ad break, you probably have about five ad breaks or six. Now with the event of 30 seconds being expensive, they're bringing it down 20 seconds, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, five seconds. So on TV, when you see the, the, the Puts family, three times before citing build. If you time them, you will see that one's 20 seconds, then there's three, two more adverts, and then there's probably a 10 second one, or a five second one, and sometimes three ads in one block. And that's the same on radio too, where you have quite a few adverts, if you add up 20 seconds, you know, 10 times, you still haven't got the advert. Anyway, we're lucky, we have about two and a half minutes, or sometimes not that many, not, not, no adverts at all on the Sunday. So then there's a the news that comes in. So then we go with the same thing again. So we have two together, two songs together. And then we might do something spontaneous, like say, I might talk about creating more here. I'm writing it all the wrong way around. But you understand what, where I'm getting at, yeah? You look walking out here like this. So then we'll talk maybe, I'll talk about creating. Yeah, and then, and one of you want to hear a song by the Foo Fighters, which I'd be very, very happy to play. So I'll put it in there. So that's my choice, it's coming, because it's a request. And hopefully the music producer won't, uh, won't um, get mad. Then, We'll probably do the alpha for a competition. So let's take the um, the Arvo data. And sometimes we put people on air. It just depends how we feel in the morning. If somebody calls and they're really good and they sound bubbly and, and nice, or if some guy calls and, and, and says, <laughs> you know, the job of the producer is to is to wake the guy up and say, you know, and get to know him. Uh, it's very important to get to know whoever calls in 40 seconds, you know, to say, hi, what's your name, where are you from, what job do you do, are you a student, what are you studying, where are you married, are you single, blah, 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 do you have a dog, or whatever. So he can pass that information to me and say, yeah, it's uh, Johannes Gordon from Upper Austria, uh, he's been on before, he's in the car, and uh, he's building his house at the moment. And, uh, so I can say, hey, how's the house built? <laughs> <laughs> So then we'll do the alpha, so we'll play a song there, song, put the guy on air, and this is where it sometimes goes with the uh, competition, be two, three minutes, uh, and then he'll finish that. So then another song, and then, um, yep, yeah, then verbal. No, 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 it's not. Sorry. It's the trailer, another trailer. <coughs> trailer, so it might be the sound selection, it might be sunny side up uh, in the shop town. And then normally one song to get to the news, or two, depending on the time. Some songs are two and a half minutes long. The average is about three and a half minutes of the song. So how many songs do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it's about 11 an hour, so maybe my timing is all out there. But if we're lucky, we might get another song. So that's, that's roughly how they are always. Well, <laughs> that's, well, yeah. yeah. So, but that's, and of course, we know that you're going to be um, listening. We know when you listen in the morning uh, that you won't listen. Um, quite thoroughly as if you're listening when we have a feedback session. If we do a feedback session, we listen to an hour and we go through every link and with uh, either the senior producer or the boss and that's normally once a month where we do that and she'll say, what went wrong there? Or, oh, that was good or uh, this works and, and that doesn't work. So. It's, as I said at the beginning, it really is a, a, a team effort. And um, you, as a listener, uh, will listen, you should only listen 
for about 30 minutes, or that's probably what it is, maybe an hour. Uh, a lot of people say to me about uh, a, dry, a dryer always playing the same, same music. Uh, and actually, in, in fairness to a dryer, I was driving in from, from Germany the other day and was listening to some German radio stations. And, uh, and when I, I got back into Austria, I switched on a dryer and it sounded really fresh and really good to hear. The problem is with Erdry, they bought this uh, hit radio format which worked brilliantly in, uh, in New York and uh, Los Angeles and also London where you have a lot of stations that are like uh, that. And um, uh, here you've just got Erdry or you've got the new uh, independent radio stations and most people, if you go into a Tankstelle or you go into an office, or a waiting room for a doctor or a dentist, they normally have a dry on. And of course, it, a dry was, the, the format of a dry is not for people to listen for eight hours. You should only listen very shortly uh, on your way to work in the morning. If you don't like the song, you move up straight to another radio station. And that's how it works in Los Angeles. And they have a very, very um, uh, reduced uh, jukebox uh, that they choose from, which is uh, around about 1,100 uh, uh, songs, I think, and we have, luckily, two music, or a music department, one that looks after um, music from one o'clock in the morning to two o'clock in the afternoon, and two o'clock in the afternoon till seven o'clock in the evening. So that's why sometimes if you listen to what's played in the morning, it might not necessarily get played in the afternoon, because the different music producer will put in different stuff for connected as he would do for the morning show. So that's uh, how that works. And um, Lisa said to me, uh, uh, because uh, you're talking about side pro projects, a lot of you do side projects, um, apart from my work uh, in the morning, I mean, it can, get, it can get a little bit heavy, and if you've got a cold or you don't feel well, I mean, it's not easy if you split up and you have a relationship and you've got to be on air the next morning. Um, but, you know, we get through these things um, and uh, hopefully it doesn't come across that if, if something bad's happened to you. Um, and with, when that is finished, um, we, we go from, from the building about 11 o'clock in the morning and, as I said, the day producer works through that. And side projects that, uh, that I do, uh, for instance, last night I was in the Sofian, Sofian, Sofian Sala for the second year for the uh, Sustainable Entrepreneurship Awards, which is a very big green event. It's the fourth year, and so I did the moderation for that. Came here this morning. Um, on Monday, uh, we have a show in the Rabenhof Theatre. Um, it's sold out, but there is another date, 19th of December at the Rabenhof Theatre. So I'm doing that with Gerald Fleischacker. Fleischacker, he um, is a comedian, writes most of the stuff uh, for the moderators on Great Moments and also on um, the, for the Eurovision Song Contest. So if you didn't like what Andy Knoll said, that's down to Gerald. Um, and uh, there's also um, events um, that I do and of course voiceovers. There's always work for um, an English voice, maybe if they're doing something at Universal. Well, actually it's Terra Marta now. And uh, they're putting something out on DVD, an Austrian film. Um, they put it out in German, English, French, and Italian, so they need an English voice for that. I can't do um, commercials on radio, but I can voice commercials on TV. And uh, I also do image films, and yeah, that's about it, really. And take my dog for a walk. <laughs> and that's my life. Is that enough?